Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am taking a bus all the way from Miami over here to Key West, the last of the Florida Keys here in Florida. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today, I am located here at Key West, as I mentioned, the last of the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are a string of tropical islands stretching about 120 miles of the southern tip of the U.S. state of Florida. They're known as a tourist destination for many things, including historical, wildlife, and sightseeing tours, water-related activities and experiences, bars and restaurants, and many other tourist attractions. The plan for today is to make our way there and show you some cool locations that I thought would be interesting to check out. My personal recommendations. That all sounds interesting to me, so if that interests you, come with me. Check it out you guys, this is my ticket and I think that is my bus. Let's go ahead and check in. And just like that, we are on the road. This drive is about four hours long from downtown Miami. So there's a lot of time for you to relax and hear interesting facts from the tour guides. Anyways, let's enjoy the rest of our drive. All right, you guys, we have just arrived here at Key West and it's time for us to start exploring. I think we have a good five hours to do so, so let's be proactive and take advantage of them. My goal for today is to check out and show you four different locations that I thought were very interesting and tell you a little bit more about them. All right, you guys, so the first location that I would like to share with you today, I actually didn't even know it existed until the tour person told us on the bus. Apparently, this is one of the most photographed locations here at Key West, which I think is pretty cool. It is the mile zero marker for US 1 Highway, or 1 North, also known as the Florida Keys Scenic Highway. This is the only highway that goes through all of the Florida Keys, and it is the only way to get to the Florida Keys by land. It starts right here at Key West, obviously, then it goes and it connects through multiple major US cities on the eastern United States, and it goes all the way to the Canadian border where it ends. This attraction is located at the intersection of Fleming Street and Whitehead Street, as you can see right there. This is a free and simple attraction you cannot miss. To be able to say that you are at mile zero of the Florida Keys Scenic Highway, that is really cool if I do say so myself. And in a similar note to the last attraction that I showed you, this next one is also amongst the most popular to visit here. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this location is actually the most visited and the most photographed attraction here at Key West. That right there, you guys, is the marker for the southernmost point in the continental United States. Isn't that cool? And it is a very popular place. You can see here the line of people waiting for their turn. It might not seem like a long line, but people keep coming and coming back. So the line stays like that for a long time. And once we get through the line, we can see that it says 90 miles to Cuba, southernmost point, continental USA in Key West, Florida, home of the sunset. All right, you guys, now let's take a little selfie. And I totally understand the appeal. If you ever visited Key West, you definitely wanna be able to say that you visited the southernmost point of the continental United States. But can you really? When I was checking for things to do here at Key West, I came across this attraction and I was like, I definitely have to see it for myself. 
As I kept looking, I learned that there's even a Southerner Ur location here at Key West, if that's even a real word. That location is not accessible to pedestrians as it is an actual US naval base. And if you look it up on Google, it is labeled as the actual southernmost point of the continental United States, which I thought was so funny. And after searching further, I learned that there's a Southern Key, another island part of Florida, which is technically the southernmost point of Florida and hence of the continental United States. But let's just ignore that, pretend I never even said it. Let's just say that we visited the southernmost point in the continental United States. All right, you guys, up next, we are checking out Fort Zachary Taylor Park. That location really interested me after I saw some of its pictures online. And you can already see there behind me, it's a cannon. More of that to come. So let's go in and check it out. So there's a closer view of the cannon from here. Check this out. And apparently, you can check out the trails around the fort or the fort itself. We're going to go ahead and head over to the fort. Here we start to see some information on the historical significance of the fort. Of course, it was named after Zachary Taylor, who was the 12th president of the United States. Fort Zachary Taylor has a lot of historical significance. It has been leveraged throughout its history in multiple wars, including the Civil War by the Union Army and during the Spanish-American War by the United States Army. From this particular point from where I'm standing, which is I think right at the center of the fort, it doesn't seem too big, but it was definitely important and very strategic for the United States throughout its history. We are entering one of the sections right here. This to me seems like a church or like an assembly area. There's like a podium over there and there's sitting area for people to sit in and listen. So this is the view from the podium right here. You can see outside. Surprisingly, this fort did not see any action during the Civil War, but that is actually attributed to its very strategic location and the fact that the Union Army was able to stop any goods or ammunition from reaching the Confederate Army. One of the main attractions of this place are the Civil War era cannons that are still on this place at this location. Let's get close to one and check it out. Check it out. This is one right here. And you see there are more in that direction and more in that direction as well. This is another view from this angle. You can see them all lined up right there. And check it out, you guys. All of these cannons point straight at a tiny window on the wall. All right, you guys, let's peek outside one of these windows. Check it out. That is the view from here. And check it out, you guys, this one was actually lifted up and brought up closer to the window. Definitely easier to aim from this distance. These cannons are just so cool to look at. It's like if you're looking back at history. And these are not the only weapons from Civil War times that have been discovered in this location. I read that there's been excavation efforts and they've actually found other weapons and ammunition from those times. So that's pretty cool. And the more you know. And who knows, that might mean that there are so many more weapons and ammunition buried deep below this yard. And this is a view of the main yard from this angle. As you can see, the American flag is right at the middle. This is a view of the yard from up here. And from this angle, you can take a good look at the beach from the distance. Check that out. And with that, you guys, let's move to our next and last location.
right, you guys. So the last location that I would like to share with you guys here at Key West is Mallory Square. This area is one of those touristy sections where you can find gift shops, cafes, food vendors, and even street performers. Supposedly, this is the best location to admire the sunset here at Key West. There's definitely a wide area to view it from. Check it out. This has been a tradition here at Key West since the 1960s and I find it so fun. I'm one of those people who love sunrises and sunsets, the colors, just the peace that they bring me somehow. So that is an event that I would truly love to experience. However, that's not going to be the case today. I just checked my phone and the sunset here at Key West is scheduled for 8 p.m. But my bus leaves here at 6 p.m. So yeah, this is not going to happen today. I just didn't want to miss telling you about it. I've seen pictures online and it just looks so amazing and fun. So if you have the availability and the flexibility, definitely check out the Key West Sunset Celebration. Alright you guys, so as I mentioned, the bus that is part of my tour package departs at 6. It's about to be 5.52, so I have about 8 minutes to spare, but I am just so tired. I've been walking the whole day, so I cannot wait to get back to Miami. This is a goodbye to Key West. See you later. Let me get on that bus. And just like that, we're back on the road. Overall, I really enjoyed my experience. Again, there are so many things to do at Key West, so choose the activities you'll enjoy the most. Definitely let me know if you were interested to check out any of the locations we saw on today's video. For now, I'll see you back in Miami. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.